Welcome to the 21st century where video is everywhere. It's not only on YouTube, it's on Facebook. Video is a very powerful tool to express your knowledge, thoughts, opinions, things like that, as you've probably seen other people have done. Well, if a picture says a thousand words, then a video tells even more. So I'm going to show you how to do video editing with a really easy to use program called iMovie 09. It comes for the Mac only, uh, but it has a lot of powerful features that are really easy to use. All right, I'm going to break this up into a few videos, a series on iMovie 09 to make the, the bits a little more digestible and easier to download. Okay, and you can get exactly to what you want. First off, let's talk about just launching iMovie and getting some video in and do, do some basic adding video in, like trimming off the beginnings. So this is really the basics. So if that's all you want to know, this is the only one you have to watch. You can watch the others if you want to see some more advanced features. Let's go ahead and launch it. Uh, iMovie, by default, usually on the Mac, is already installed on your dock, but you can search for it in the Applications folder if you want. But it's that star icon, and you can click on that, and that's how it'll launch it. First, let me show you just an example. I, I created a little demo movie that will show you an example of what can be done in iMovie. This was all done in iMovie, although I got my video content off the web. As it has happened many times before, mankind is finding itself reaching Please out excuse my into goofy new territory narration. where humans have never lived before. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Celebrating its 25th birthday... The audio kicks up, up on this part. ...and supplies to the space station. Added some music in there. Did a Google Earth screen capture. Through technology that enables us to travel, lowered the audio and the music. Of space, we seek out new homes such as Mars for us Cross -fade to explore transitions. and mold into a suitable habitat. And this was a video I got off the web for free, public domain. That's a Once still photo we just panning across. Mars, we will likely reach out to the stars and the possible homes we will find there. And that's where you can get some of the video that I used in that video. In fact, we're going to play with some of that in uh, iMovie. Let's go ahead and launch iMovie so you get an idea of some of the neat, cool things that you can do with transitions, audio effects. Uh, anyway, just the basics first off. First thing, what is all this? All these windows, everything you've got. Wait a minute, I thought I had just a few videos. Well, if you want to import uh, some video, you can basically like drag a movie clip. You can just drag it into iMovie or click the little camera button. That's what you would typically would do. This is when you would hook up your camcorder uh, and you can click on that. And it says no camera connected. If I had like a eyesight camera built into my display, um, a camcorder, then I could import some video directly off, directly off of it. Um, in fact, I can actually record live and not use a tape at all and just record directly to my hard drive using um, iMovie, which is pretty cool. So anyway, uh, that is how you would do some importing. iMovie's layout is this way. At the bottom, by default, is your event library. And these are your events. These are the things that you took video of, such as uh, you know that ball game or that birthday party or that guest lecturer, things like that. They'll show up in there as your different events as you import them. Up here is your project library. This is your project. This is what you're working on. This is how you're, you're putting pieces together to create a video. So this is your movie, in other words, right up here in this window. Over here is a preview for you to view video. In fact, whenever I take my mouse and I just kind of wave it over video, the preview window shows me a, a larger version of whatever it is that I'm looking at. So I get a chance to take a look and see what I've got. So again, these are my sample clips and if I want to add something, I can just drag it to my project up at the top. All right. If you click on project library, you will find other projects. Now right now I'm brand new, my first project, I haven't even done one yet. And then I click Edit Project if this is the one I want. Click Edit and it brings me to it. Okay. When you launch for the first time, you may get something like this, a new project, like this. And it gives you a chance to name it. For instance, I'm going to name mine Space. Ah, not a pace. A pace? Is that a salsa? <laughs> um, 
And down here gives you a choice for your ratio, whether it's 16.9 or like 4.3. 4.3 is like standard video. The widescreen is like for high definition. And since some of the video I got off the web is widescreen, I'm going to choose widescreen video. And it gives you a choice here to choose a theme. They have some neat little themes in here that can create some nice transitions and things for you. In fact, you can check this box and it'll automatically add a transition of cross dissolve, whichever one you want. You know, cross dissolve. That's like where you know we have two video clips and one fades out and the other one fades in. They kind of overlap each other just a little bit. Well, that's cross dissolve. And there's other transitions that you can do as well, a cube effect and things like that. I usually leave that off because I don't want the same transition between every clip necessarily. In fact, some clips I don't want to transition at all. It's very good to go to a direct cut. Um, and so I turn that off and I just add them where I want them. Uh, I also leave the theme off and I'll show you later how we can add it back in and do some more advanced things. But that's in one of my advanced videos. So when you see this, you just do that. You choose whatever it is. If you know you have wide video or whether you have standard, you know, 4.3 like old style TV video. Um, then click create. And it creates a new project for you. And now you can see I'm in project space. If I go to project library, I can see my space project. And then I have my other, my first project that I worked on. So I click on Space Project and click Edit, and it brings me to Space Project.